<laughs> Sorry, Athena. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Welcome to the vlog. Today, we go on a journey together and we learn a new skill. Let's learn electrical. You get a battery source, you take one wire from one side of it, you go to your light, you take the other wire from the other side of it, you go back into your battery. Oh, you want a light switch to turn on that light? Okay, put it right now. Boop. Light switch. That's about all I know. <laughs> so, let's see if we can be electricians today. Come on. I took a stroll downtown this evening. You can take a little bit of what I'm about to tell you about electrical with a grain of salt. This is my first rodeo, but uh, hey, if it's my first rodeo, it's probably yours too. So let's learn with each other. When I heard music echo through the night. What are you? Oh, things tiny. I could just like hold, I could. Nice. Yeah, I was wrong. Okay, goal today is just to lay wire in the van, just to lay it because it's kind of a little puzzle. But not all wire is made equal. I'm staring through your window looking up at the stars because not all appliances are made equal. Your toaster draws different power than your TV, which draws different power than the outlets that power your phones. And when you've got electrical juice flowing through your wires, depending on how much current you're drawing through wires, you need different thickness of wire, different gauge wire. 14 gauge wire? Six gauge. Six gauge is a lot thicker than 14 gauge, which means a lot more current can pass through six gauge wire without heating up and starting fires and, and melting things. So today, I know I need a lot of 14 and 12 gauge wire. See how much I want it, see how bad I need it. You gotta look into my eyes. Ew, not even Slim Jim. Snack break. I was gonna slim Jim. Jack links. No thanks. All right, you van lifers, I want to make this all complicated. Let's simplify. Okay, so look. If all of the batteries for this van are gonna live right there, what we need to do to lay these wires is pull cable from here to a light switch or a bunch of light switches somewhere around here, and this is where they break. Some go up, whoop, to the fan. Others will go from here to puck lights along the ceiling. Others will break here for cabinetry. So the, the goal is to put all of those breaks in one place so they're controlled by switches. And today, more than any other day, label, label, label all those wires so we know what they're for and what they're running to. One step at a time, just lay the wire. Here we go. Wiring in a van, it's, it's really not so hard. The hardest part is keeping track of all this stuff. I can't even imagine how much more difficult it is to do in a house. A real house. Well, maybe not, because there are like weird differences with a the van. There you go. Now you know how to do electrical. I know how to do electrical. We'll check back in when we actually rig this stuff up to a power supply. That's, that's when things can go wrong. See you tomorrow, you little electricians. This, these here, 14 gauge wire, they should be sufficient to wire up the entire van. Some of the appliances we have need 16 gauge wire, but it's 16 gauge is thinner. So the 16 gauge stuff can still run through this thicker stuff. There's enough room for the charge to flow without it heating up. Plus I couldn't find 16 gauge wire that comes nice like this. Sorry, Athena. Trust me.